Let's talk about living. Let's talk about living well. Let's talk about spaghetti squash. How are you? Today we are making some skinny spaghetti to satisfy your inner fatty. If you've never had it before, get ready because you're gonna love it. A guarantee. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, your girl Elizabeth, and welcome to another episode of Rogue But Skinny. Cooking tips for chicks on a budget who like to eat a lot but want to look good. They want to look so good. How's it going? You want to eat a lot, but you don't want to spend a lot. And you want to live a lot. Because isn't that what it's about? Isn't that what this is all about? Living. I'm so glad you could join us today. So I love pasta. I love Italian food. Italian designers, Italian cars, Italian opera. Not so much Italian guys, but I love, I love me some Italian. And today we're making something that isn't necessarily Italian, but it's Italian-ish. <laughs> and when it comes to Italian food, if you're a glutton like me, this might be a little area where you struggle. Today, we're gonna get rid of the struggle. Today, we are going to find freedom and eliminate the struggle. Today, we are making spaghetti squash. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make spaghetti squash that will blow your mind. Not just because it tastes good, but because it's so super easy. Like, so easy. And it costs hardly anything. I think I spent a total of four dollars. Maybe three. I think, no. I think I spent like two bucks on the meal that I'm making today. I kid you not. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna need some spaghetti squash and pasta sauce. That's it. I'm gonna show you how to throw these two things together and doctor it up so it's really good. And what you'll end up with is a healthy and clean pasta that doesn't weigh you down and makes you feel really, really full and is so yummy. So first things first, spaghetti squash. What's so great about it and why should we care? <laughs> it costs like, 60 cents, a, I got this for like, six, it costs like nothing, and it's got, um, one cup has like 35 calories, it's really low in carbs, and it's high in fiber, has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it, it's really healthy for you, and it's good, so you can eat it and enjoy it and not feel guilty if you decide to have seconds or thirds. And you can feed this to your significant other and make them feel like you love them when you're really just trying to put them on a diet. Spaghetti squash. So to get this thing going, cut your spaghetti squash in half, scoop out the seeds. You're gonna drizzle some olive oil on it, just a little bit, and sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then put it face down on a baking sheet and we're gonna roast it for 30 to 35 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And while that's roasting, let's talk about sauce. You've heard me rant about this before. No more added sugar. None. No more. Zilch. Done. Nada. No more added sugar. We are so over that. And you would be shocked to see how much added sugar is in spaghetti sauce. It's crazy. Next time you're in the store, I encourage you to just grab a couple jars and look at the back of the labels. Like seriously read them. It's nuts. Prego has 11 grams of sugar in just a half cup serving. And Newman's Own and Bertoli both have 12 grams of sugar. And they're not even the brands that have the most. So chances are you're gonna want more than just a half cup. So let's go ahead and make it a good even 16 grams of sugar in your one portion. Get this, 16 grams of sugar is equal to four teaspoons of regular sugar. That's crazy. Are you kidding? What's a girl to do? I know. If you don't feel like making your own sauce, and I don't, you're gonna have to buy it. Read the back of the labels and look at the ingredients. If you don't know how to pronounce what you're reading, don't buy it. And if you see the word sugar anywhere, don't buy it. Unfortunately, I have found that the like higher end, more boutique-y brands of pasta sauce tend to be the healthier options. They also taste way better, but they cost more. So personally, to me, that extra buck or two is an investment worth making. But if you don't wanna do that, 
no worries. I'm not gonna pressure you to buy an expensive pasta sauce. But what I want you to do is try to find a regular brand that doesn't have a bunch of crazy chemicals in it and doesn't have any added sugar. Sometimes the store brands are really, really good. And if the brand that you buy doesn't have any added sugar but it's a little boring, don't worry about it because I'm gonna show you how to doctor it up. And speaking of spaghetti squash, I believe ours is done roasting. Spaghetti squash is usually really, really firm, so you'll know it's done when it's tender to touch and it just gives a little bit. It takes less than five minutes to prep, and once it's done roasting, it takes even less time to throw it all together. So we're gonna flip these over, and I'm just gonna give them a quick chance to cool so I don't burn my fingers. And while that's happening, let's just zhuzh the sauce up a bit. We're gonna doctor it up, make it taste really, really nice. Like one of those more expensive boutique brands. So I've got here some basic, healthy pasta sauce. No added sugar, notice that, please, yes, that's right. So I've got here some basic, healthy pasta sauce, and while it has no added sugar, I just wanna amp it up just a bit. So I'm gonna pour some into a mixing bowl and then add a bunch of herbs, whatever you've got. Just remember that dry herbs are a more concentrated flavor than fresh herbs, so you don't need as much. I'm sprinkling in about a fourth a teaspoon of dried thyme and basil, because I don't have oregano. <laughs> And to that, I'm gonna add a whole bunch of red pepper flakes, give it a sort of arrabbiata, 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 whatever, a better flavor. Fun little tip, if you're running low on sauce and you wanna really use everything in that jar, add a splash of water, put on the lid, give it a shake, and pour it in. And from there, if you wanna throw in some chopped onion, go for it, maybe some chopped parsley, that's really nice. Stir it up and it's done. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be great, it's so yummy. All right, now, back to the spaghetti squash. Using a fork, scoop out the squash. You get these fun little spaghetti looking strings. It looks like angel hair pasta. So scoop them out and add this to the mixing bowl full of sauce. The heat from the squash will heat up the sauce. And then from there, just toss it like you're making a salad and put some on a plate and done. This is so delicious. It doesn't even need cheese, I promise. Don't even try to use cheese. You don't need it. This is perfect. You're gonna love it. So try making this. Fantastic. You did it. It was easy. Yes. And that's it. I told you it was easy. It was easy, wasn't it? Awesome. Awesome, that's it. So try making this at home. Let me know how it works for you. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, hit like, leave a comment, Hit subscribe and let's be friends, y'all. And thanks so much for watching. Stick around for more of my super fun, fabulous videos. And I love you. Even if you're an Italian guy.